Hello friends, this is Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How you doing today? Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me in my craft room here. I'm here for Tassel Tuesday and this was a kind of, it's developed into like a collab that was started by Jovi of Creating with Jovi and so there's several of us now that are participating every Tuesday and making some beautiful uh, fun tassels. So the uh, ones we know about will be linked below and if you anyone can join in just put put the hashtag um you know hashtag tassel tuesday in your title and maybe description under your video and we can find you and add you to our list so uh this week okay so last week let me tell you the story here last week i showed you these fabrics right here and i said i was going to work with these fabrics and make a tassel out of these this week and I even found this little Santa uh, this week it was a crochet Santa isn't it cute and I thought that would go with my little tassel but I took a detour because I was sh sh making some muslin strips and I just was just got inspired um, as I was making my muslin strips and I had a pile of muslin strips. I thought I just thought they were so beautiful. I mean, it's just who thought I could be detoured by a, a, you know, a bunch of muslin strips. But I was putting some in my shop because they had some extra muslin. And then I saw my strips and I was like, oh, that would be a beautiful tassel, <laughs> you know. So uh, I took a detour and I create. I have created my uh you know ribbons here for my tassel for my and it's going to be a neutral colored tassel as you can see so I thought at first before I put it together I would show you what I have in here because I wanted besides my muslin strips I wanted some texture and some laces and things and I'm um, just you know so far in my crafting and my journals and things I get all of my lace and trims from thrift stores or I've gotten some at estate sales so I haven't really bought any like on Amazon or from anywhere else online I even get by um, things with trim on them and then I cut the trim off like I have some trim in my shop that I cut off of a tablecloth things like that so just to show you i kind of have this together but i want to show you a little bit of the texture here so here's something here very pretty oh and i have probably got some in happy mail too so here's a pretty lace right here i don't want to take it apart because it's like i said i have it i have it together <laughs> already but there's a pretty one here's a real i know i cut this off of something this one i'll pick this one up it's so small and it's right on top but I cut this, I believe I cut this off of something. Uh, I don't know if, it, I think it might have been an apron. I'm not sure, but I think this came from an apron, like a vintage apron. So a lot of my laces are definitely, probably all of these are vintage. This one I also cut off of something. It's a real pretty lacy lace. And it's got, a, you know, these all just add nice texture. Here's some like crochet laces over here. And they're all different, so they add all different textures and, and the colors too. There's, you know, you're probably seeing off white, but they're all different shades of off white, you know what I mean? And creams, and that just is so beautiful together. So I have the length here, it's a pretty long one, and I want it to be, you know, pretty fluffy. So here's the middle, and I want, I thought instead of using a ring this time. You know, I usually use the little notebook rings or binder rings and uh, or they're called actually um, on Amazon. They call them loose leaf rings. Anyway, instead of adding metal, I thought I'd keep it all natural. So I have this. See, I have this string right here. Uh, I'm going to call it muslin ribbon and I'm going to tie it up with this instead of a ring. So usually I put my ring around here and and snap it together on top so this time I'm going to use this this muslin ribbon and tie a knot right here to get it together on the top instead of that ring instead of that metal ring so there we go and I'm going to tie a knot so it stays together double knot I guess it would be 
Okay, and then I'm going to tie a little ring right here so it can hang from here. So just another little knot right here on top maybe. I don't know, you know, this is the first time I've made one like this without the, the metal ring. So it's kind of a little bit of an experiment for me. But they're keeping it all natural. And then so I'm going to pick it up. And I also wanted uh, some of my trims, they're not all the same length. Some of my ribbons and trims here, they're not all the same length. And I wanted that so you'd have, you know, when you look at it, you see different levels of texture and fluffiness too. So I'm going to tie it off like we do with our, just like we do when we put a metal ring on here. But I have um, made a little bow. So I'm going to get my little, you know, you bring it down. And usually we tie like some string or some ribbon around here. We have our little kind of a puff at the top here. There's our ring where we ha can hang it. Okay, so my, my, what I'm tying around here this time is I've made a little muslin bow. So here it is. Again, I took my muslin uh, and made this little bow. I think it's super pretty. And I have some here uh, to tie around the tassel. So we're going to have this as our little topper here around. Let's see, which way do I want it? It doesn't really matter. But the bow is going to be kind of like on one side. Oh, I have some white eyelash trim, just a little piece in here, but that adds a nice little texture. It doesn't go all the way down, so it kind of adds, you know, like I said, different levels of texture. Let's see. Let's just do it like this. Put the bow right here. And you can see I have different, um, I have loops, and then I have a couple of pieces hanging here, like this hanging down so it's an all-natural muslin bow I'm going to place it right here and then turn my little tassel over so I can tie it tight in the back let's see oh here's my piece of, here's my piece that I'm tying let me get it I think I pulled it a little bit I want this even so I can tie it around tie it around my tassel so something like this Okay, and I'll pull those tight. I'll pull everything tight through the uh, bow here when I get it. So I didn't pull it as tight as I could. I want to pull things down here. I'm going to hold on to my little hanger and pull everything down tight. Okay, that side, and I'm going to go around. This is the bow. Let me just pull everything tight right here. So if you have some muslin you want to use up, <laughs> here you go. Make some tassels and beautiful muslin tassels. All natural, beautiful for Christmas or other things. Uh, this would be beautiful um, hanging from just about anything. Okay, isn't it beautiful? Okay, so let's see. Let me make sure I don't put my... Got a little string that needed to be loose there, and it was behind the, the part I'm tying on. Okay, so let, let's pull it tight and get the full effect here. The muslin's really strong, so you can really pull on it, you know what I mean? Uh, I think I want to tie this in a double knot. I could tie it in a bow, but I want a double knot, and then this will also be hanging down as part of our tassel. So let's tie a double knot, and it'll be nice and secure. There we go, and this can also hang down. And this is hand, you know, I tore this. It's not cut. The muslin part is torn. So you get the added texture of the phrase, which is really, really beautiful. So here we go. Let me turn it around. Let me show you. So here's all of our textures, laces, muslins, you know, crochet trim, all kinds of trims. Uh, oh, I have a couple different kinds of muslin in here, too. One uh, is the regular kind of like flat muslin. And then there's, I've got this other one. I'm going to call it, uh, it's kind of a wrinkly muslin. <laughs> it's not wrinkled, but that's the texture it has on it. Kind of a wrinkly texture. And it also has more specks in it, this one right here. So that, you know, two different kinds of muslin and two different colors of muslin adds to your texture and your prettiness. Okay, so here's our bow. Here's our hanger. 
just try to get them all straight so you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. Probably hard to actually even see it all on the camera here. <laughs> Let me pick it up a little bit. Okay, so here's our hanger. And then I pulled, this is just an extra piece in case I needed it. I didn't know if I needed any more for anything, so I put an extra piece right there. But um, I also had made this a while ago in my on my channel, some little like rosettes and put a button in the middle. And this is sewn together here. And then that button is glued on. But I thought, you know, if you uh, wanted to add something else to one, like if you're making one, and you say, I would like to add something else. You can add a little flower here. And I wanted to keep it all this color, you know, monochromatic kind of, uh, you know, muslin colors, even though it's different shades of muslin. And you, it's, I'm sure there's different shades are not coming through on the camera. And they're mostly all the same, but there are, there are differences here in the laces and the muslins. But you could put a little bow or a flower or something right here in the middle. So, and you can use these for weddings. I noticed online they were saying, I guess people use these for weddings, but you could also use them for Christmas or wherever you need a beautiful, you know, this color of, of tassel. So I'm not going to, I'm going to figure out how to attach this. I could glue it on. Or I can take a couple of stitches and stitch it on right there. Or I can leave it off. I don't know if I really want it on there. I was just going to show you that option where you can take a pretty, some kind of bow or a flower or a little rosette or something and put it right there. And uh, can you see okay? <laughs> uh, I think you can see pretty good and get the idea. Here's the hanger. It's kind of long. Let me turn it this way. And maybe you can get... Uh, the idea this way too because it's pretty long uh, let me measure do I have my ruler here well my ruler is not here right now okay well that's all right I don't really need to measure it's probably I know I started off aiming for about nine I think it ended up being about 12 inches it's between nine and 12 inches so but um there you go I think you can probably see it all and it's really I think it's actually very very beautiful so this will be in my shop. And also I have some ripped muslin strips in my shop too. That was how this started. That's like I mentioned, I was just gonna put some muslin strips in my shop and then I was like, oh my goodness, these are so beautiful. And there we go, now we have a muslin tassel. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the my tassel this week and I will see y'all next week. Check out the others. They all make gorgeous tassels, so. Um, everyone have a great day and happy crafting.